Tonight, people living in West Palm Beach are organizing a petition to halt a controversial marina project voted on by the city commission. The public outcry is growing over the city's plan to put a commercial marina downtown without any public input. Investigative reporter Terry Parker has been bringing you exclusive updates all month. She joins us now with the very latest. Terry. Felicia and Jade, what started as a quiet vote to negotiate this commercial marina has now gained significant backlash. I told you last night the mayor even made an unexpected announcement, assuring people the public would be able to use the marina even though a private company would build and run it. But that hasn't quelled the concerns and now a second group is planning an official protest. The questions are growing. Why did West Palm Beach's City Commission, in only one meeting, suddenly agree to negotiate a deal with a private company to build and run a luxury marina on the public waterfront without any public support? This move by the City Commission was absolutely unprecedented, and that's why the public is so outraged. Rick Rose is on the board of the Downtown Neighborhood Association. They're running a survey throughout the city, and he says the overwhelming response so far is negative. People don't want a public amenity turned into a private moneymaker. The backlash now reaching City Hall, prompting an unscheduled speech by the mayor at Monday's commission meeting. Well, I wanted to uh, share the facts. Mayor Keith James unexpectedly saying he wanted to quell any concerns by the public about the controversial marina deal we've been investigating. There will be ample opportunity uh, for the public to weigh in on the specific proposal of City Harbor LLC uh, before a contract is finalized. But Rose and others say that's backward. The commission should have put the proposal to the public first before ever moving forward with negotiating a contract. You don't own the waterfront. We all own the waterfront. The mayor stressed public input yeah, would be allowed good. eventually. At the June 5th meeting, where the two companies presented their projects, he did not allow any public comment. However, two people endorsing City Harbor, the company James favored, were yeah, allowed to speak. City down. Harbor won the bid, and Rick Rose her. says the public was left out. That outrage is growing, and um, I think the City Commission will have no choice but to reverse course. And the Downtown Neighborhood Association is running their survey until July 19th and is already preparing a petition drive to tell the commission to halt the marina negotiations immediately. There is another official protest also ongoing by the company that lost out on the bid to negotiate. We'll stay on top of this one for you. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.